for the stress. Okay, for the stress, we have similar. We have similar uh, diagram for the stress. Uh, However, different, different, not different, uh, different meaning, this one is different from this one. However, this is uh, actually the same as this, okay? And also, this is the tension side, tension side, tension. The stress is the magnitude of strength per unit area, okay? Magnitude of strength. Uh, you can recall, you can recall, stress is a magnitude of stress per unit area, okay? So, it is not represented by distance or lengthening or shortening of the whole uh, beam, but it is the amount of experience that is the uh, fair by the cross section. <coughs> if you notice, as I have said, this is the neutral axis going up. It's the y, y dimension. How low? From this point to this point to this point. How low is uh, being uh, observed throughout, throughout the cross section? Notice at the neutral axis, there is no the stress being built, there is no strain being built. Only at above or below, only above or below the neutral axis where we build the uh, stress and strain. Okay. Although we have plane, we now added the steam reinforcement. So oh, this is now our steel. We got we value strength. Steel stress. Okay. What about this one? How much? How much the stress and strain? Do this reinforcement experience compared to the complete. Okay. It is similar. You notice from the neutral axis, each and every, each and every distance of the same strain and stress. For example, for example, we are we locate for example this this molecule this component and this component at the same level for example at this level we get the same strain and same stress but they have different stress and strain if they are not on the same level so the same level Components or molecules or atoms will be the same stress at the same level. So, meaning this steel reinforcement will be the same stress and strain compared to these atoms and molecules of concrete. Concrete and steel. <coughs> concrete and steel. It's neighboring, it's neighboring atoms of or molecules of concrete and itself, the steel molecules will feel the same strain and stress. Okay, how do we uh, demonstrate that? Okay, okay. Notice the uh, markings, black markings, represent the end, the end points of the beam, for example. Okay. So this, like this, right? Okay. Now we will mark a third point, and 
I will mark the middle. I will mark the center point. Okay, center line. I will use uh, different color. This is a different color. So, center. I will mark the center. Okay, this is the center la center or the neutral axis. So this is the neutral axis. Okay, I will show you. Ah, so this is the ah the compressive extreme fiber. So we call that ah extreme fiber. We call the ah. Upper part compressive extreme fiber. Those atoms, those molecules at that layer, at that will experience the what? Will experience the greatest. Why do we say the greatest? Because this is the maximum compared to this one, compared to this one, compared to this one. That is the maximum. So that atoms and molecules at the top will explain, uh, will uh, feel the greatest amount of uh, strain and stress. Similarly, this is tension side, extreme fiber will experience the maximum because this is the maximum. This is the maximum. Will experience the same. Maximum amount of strain and stress. Okay, that's it. That is correct. So the red marking is the neutral axis, while this is the compressive extreme fiber. This is the tensile extreme fiber. So if I stretch you know this, the red portion doesn't move. Meaning, it is neutral. No? I will not move, uh, I will not move my, uh, my hands. Uh, okay? I will just stretch. So it doesn't move. Okay? The red portion doesn't move. In terms of its location. However, take note of the black portion. Which is, for example, for example, at this level, around this level, the molecules around that will move relative to their red. Okay, so it will move relative to the red. Okay, so, but it is of lesser lesser amount of movement with respect to the extreme fiber. So that's how the movement of the extreme fiber and the black portion here. While the red portion doesn't move. Okay? So, so that's why it is a demonstration that uh, anything, any element at the lower layer will experience lower amount of strain and stress than the extreme fiber. So, what about now? Let's go back to the question how much strain with the uh, Reinforcement bed. So this is the amount. So from this point to this point, this is the amount. Compared to what is being built by extreme fiber. This is what is being built by extreme fiber. This is the maximum strain. This is what the steam experience. With regards to stress, also this is what the steam period in terms of what stress so this is now the tensile stress of the reinforcement
Together with the other, together with the other one, concrete element, together with other molecules, same, same participation, together with other molecules, okay? That is what we call uncracked concrete characteristic. How it experience the load within that uh, level of magnitude, okay? A small, a small amount of load. That is a small amount of load. And if we try to what? Let us try to... To grab the strain and stress in one, in one... Uh, this is the graph of stress and strain separately. We can grab the stress and strain in one diagram. 